Hello friends, in this video we will do basic VLAN configuration. So as you can see we have a one switch and we have three PCs and this particular PC has IP 10.0.0.1 this PC has IP 10.0.0.2 and this PC has IP 10.0.0.3 but these three PCs are in different departments the thing is that these PCs are in different departments so let me first show let me first assign IP addresses to these PCs 10.0.0.1 and dot as you can see these three pcs are in different departments but the problem is that this pc1 is able to communicate with pc2 and pc3 so if we if I show you, if we try to ping from this PC to if we try to ping from this PC in the HR department to this PC in the sales department then we are able to ping to this PC this means that we are able to communicate with this PC now if we try to communicate with the PC in marketing department we are getting a ping reply it means we are able to communicate with these PCs so this is this is a, this is a security problem a security issue in a secure uh, in cyber security in a secure environment PCs in different departments should not be able to communicate with it with the PC of the other department so in order to solve this problem we will assign a different VLAN to these PCs so that these PCs cannot communicate with each other so we will click on the we will go to the uh, CLI mode on the switch and go to the global configuration mode let me first show you the default VLANs on this switch do show for this we will run this command do show VLAN as you can see VLAN 1 is created by default so we will create 3 VLANs one VLAN for HR department, one VLAN for sales department and one VLAN for marketing department. So for this purpose I will type VLAN 2. Since VLAN 1 is already created that is why I have taken this. I have named this VLAN VLAN 2. Press enter and name this VLAN which is HR. Exit. Now I will create VLAN 3. I will name it sales depart sales exit then I will type VLAN 4 and this VLAN is for marketing department so I will name it marketing exit now if we run to show VLAN command then you get uh, then you can see we have created these three VLANs now we will now we will assign a different VLAN to this different interfaces so for that purpose Since this PC1 is connected to the interface FA0 slash 1, so 
so first of all go to this interface int fa0 slash 1 and we will assign this pc vlan hr so for this purpose we will type switch port access vlan 2 so this is the command to assign a a vlan to a particular interface of the switch then exit then we will now as you can see this pc this the pc in the sales department is connected to the interface fa0 slash 2 so i will type fa0 slash 2 now i will assign this pc to vlan 3 whose name is sales so i will type switch port access vlan 3 and exit now as you can see this pc in marketing department is connected to the fast in, fast ethernet interface fa0 slash 3 so i will go to this interface int fa0 slash 3 and i will type switch port access vlan I will assign this PC to the marketing department VLAN which is VLAN 4 and enter and exit. Now if we run the VLAN command to show VLAN you can see we have assigned the interface FA0 slash 1 to the HR VLAN and FA0 slash 2 interface has been assigned to sales vlan and marketing vlan has interface fa0 slash 3 now these three pieces won't be able to communicate with each other so let's see initially we were able to communicate with with the pc in the sales department and the pc in the marketing department now let's see if we are able to communicate with them or not so first of all i will Bring this PC in the sales department. So let's see. As you can see, we are not getting any response. We are not able to communicate with this PC. So the PC is in the HR department is not able to communicate with the PC in the sales department. And similarly if we try to communicate with the PC in the marketing department whose IP is 10.0.03 we won't be able to get a get a ping reply from this PC so as you can see request timed out this is how you can configure VLAN on a particular switch so that the PCs of different departments cannot communicate with the PC of another department. So this is a this was a basic VLAN configuration. I hope you must have got something to learn from this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video. See you in the next video.